I'd, I'd started uh, making a ne negative ion detector. Like uh, I've got all the housing and the uh, the aerial there and the uh, the trimming, so we could see how far it would go. But then uh, I did notice that uh, I bought one of these from a parent shop. But, uh, it's just a electronic uh, screwdriver with an NAD in it, and uh, basically, like uh, if you place it on the negative and put your finger on the positive, it doesn't do anything. Now, if you place it on the positive and put your finger on the negative, it lights up. So it's a polarity tester. Now I thought to myself, oh hang on a minute. Uh, I think there's other things of which this can do. Let's see, on, off, on, off. To which I thought to myself, uh, I think that this could uh, detect negative ions. So I'm just going to get my uh, negative ion detector, well, uh, producer, and then uh, you'll see what I mean with it. I've got a uh, negative ion producer here. I've uh, created a lead coming directly out from the negative ions there. So I'm negatively charged now. Uh, there's a little indicator there to say when. It is charged. I can't see it coming up a second. But uh, so what I did find quite interesting was if I get my screwdriver and pointed in one direction towards it, I get nothing. And if I put it in the other direction, you can see that it blatantly lights up. So it's detecting the negative ions. Not so much off that, but more off this. I'm hoping to build this into a circuit so I can have uh, an analog meter to see uh, when I've actually got negative ions and when I haven't. But if you can see that's, uh, that, that, that's lighting up quite fully there. Now if I was to turn this round. It's not lighting up at all. Unless we actually touch, touch it, but uh, if I turn it back round again, and don't touch it, just go by it, it's uh, it's actually detecting the negative ions. I find that very interesting, and I like, uh, thought I'd share this with everyone because uh, uh, I think these cost a pound, and. Uh, uh, that's pretty cheap for a uh, negative ion detector and apart from that it does uh, polarity testing uh, and also you can test uh, all kinds of uh, transistors with it uh, you can uh, test continuity by putting your finger on one side and putting your finger on the other But the thing that I found interesting was when it comes across negative ions, it lights up. Now I'm pretty certain if I was to turn this round and have positive ions, it would light up again, of which uh, makes it such a useful tool. So uh, 
hopefully in the next couple of videos I'll be able to uh, share that with uh, positive ions that's great then and uh, thanks for watching